Okay, so in this video, we're going to talk about vectors with n components and what, uh, what the definition of Rn is. So we'll, we'll see that. If you have no idea what I'm talking about, we'll, it will come up in this video. So uh, a vector with two components, well, that lives in the two-dimensional plane. So we can think of this as the xy plane. And since the vector only has two components, it only tells us how to move in two directions. So every single vector with two components is going to be somewhere in this plane. And so what we say is u, the vector u, is equal to r2. Oh, so, oh, geez, equal to. No, that's completely wrong. The vector u is an element of, meaning it lives in, it's in r2. And r2, we can loosely think of it as this xy plane, the whole plane. Okay, so we're saying that a vector with two components is in, uh, is in the plane. What about a vector with three components? Well, it gives us three pieces of information. We can, it tells us how to move in three different directions, and so it lives in three-dimensional space. So this vector might, be, might look something like this. Or we, you know, comes out, comes out at us a little bit. And so we say that this vector v, or sorry, any vector with three components is an element of R3 and what we can loosely think of as three-dimensional space. Okay, so what about a vector with n components? Well, this is a little bit hard to visualize, right? Humans aren't really equipped with the senses to visualize uh, um, more than three dimensions. But all the same, linear algebra is really good at dealing with vectors in any amount of dimensions. It could be higher than three. We won't visualize it, but we can still say that, okay, W is in Rn. It's in n-dimensional space. And later, <clears throat> excuse me, later on in the course, we will define what n-dimensional space is. But for right now, let's talk about what Rn is, very specifically what Rn is. So, what is Rn? Well, it's a set. Rn is a set, and what is it a set of? Well, it's a set of vectors. Vectors v, so this is not the same v as up here, so we'll just kind of get rid of this in your mind for a moment. A completely different v. It's the set of vectors v with v components, or sorry, with n components. So v1, v2, dot, 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 to vn. So there's n components here, and we just say that Rn is the set of all of these vectors. Every single vector with n components make up Rn. And we have this one little condition, um, it's a pretty obvious condition, where we just say V sub i uh, is an element of, of the real numbers. And you might be thinking, how is that obvious? Well, let me explain to you what that means if you don't already know. It just means that every single one of these uh, components is a real number. So it's kind of implied here that i is going from 1 all the way to n, meaning that we're considering every single vector v1 all the way through vn, or every single component v1 all the way through vn, and each one of them is a real number, so they can't be complex numbers, for example. Okay, you got that? So that's what rn is. So let's see if this definition makes sense. Um, if we, for instance, plug in R2, or sorry, if we, if we, you know, if we consider R2, so we're plugging 2 in for n, what, is, what does this look like? Well, it's the set of every vector with two components. So just two components, v1, v2. And I'll just leave off the part where they're real. We, we know that they're real numbers. So does that make any sense? Well, let's think about it. Try and imagine every single vector with two components. What happens is we, we do fill out this entire plane. Let's think about it. If we uh, start drawing vectors just randomly, well, every vector is going to end at a, a, a different point. Each vector points to a unique point in the plane. And if we were able to, draw all of these, 
every single vector, we would eventually get to every single point in the plane. And so we're filling out with all of these vectors, we're filling out the entire plane. And of course, there's an infinite number of vectors, but I, I, um, I'm kind of trying to give you an idea that if we just kept doing that and kept doing that, we would all, if we considered every single possible vector, we would fill out this entire plane. So this definition seems to be a pretty good definition of Rn. We know that R2 is this plane, this xy plane, and if we just consider every single vector with two components, we fill out the whole plane. We get that whole plane. Okay, so uh, some key things to take away from this video. One, you'll be seeing this notation a lot in the course, something like v is an element of Rn. And this should mean to you that v has n components. So this is a, this um, here underlined in pink now is a really nice way of just saying that V has n components. And it lives in in this in in Rn, this place where there's all you have is vectors with n components. Um, which we don't try and visualize, like I said before. Okay, so at this point I'm rambling, but I, I hope this video was helpful and I'll see you in the next video.